Mm. That is so good. Cold brew coffee is smoother on your palate, gentler on your stomach, and so easy to make. You're gonna wanna try this recipe at home. Before we begin, let's get one thing straight. Cold brew is not iced coffee, which is of course coffee over ice. Cold brew is cold from the start, making it smoother and fresher tasting. It's also lower in acid, so it's easier on your stomach. And there's no need for hot water or a coffee maker. Okay, so here's what you'll need. One cup of whole coffee beans, a coffee grinder, four cups of purified water, a strainer, a cheesecloth for filtering the grounds, and two large pitchers or containers. Or alternatively, you could buy a cold brew maker for less than 50 bucks that has a filter already inside. So first we're gonna grind our beans. You want them to be coarse, like a coarse cornmeal, or maybe even a little larger. Coarser grounds will make your coffee easier to filter and also less bitter than coffee made with finely ground beans. Next step, add your filtered water. Put in your coffee. Give it a good stir. And very important, cap it with a tight lid. Now we're gonna let this steep for 12 hours at room temperature. Once it's all ready, next step, line your strainer with cheesecloth like this. Here we go. Pour your coffee through. Ta-da! Cold brew coffee concentrate. Now, I have to warn you, this is really strong and full of caffeine, so there's one more step before you drink it, and that is to add liquid of your choice, water, milk, whatever you like. And you're gonna wanna start with one part coffee to one part liquid, and then you can taste it and adjust from there. Now, of course, if you want your coffee hot, pop it in the microwave. Tap your cold brew concentrate tightly and you can store it in the fridge for a week or even two. For more tips, visit aarp.org home family.